Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. My name is Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In assigning oxidation numbers, there's a specific step-by-step -step protocol that you should follow. The one that we're going to use today is four steps long. There are other protocols out there that are much longer, but I think for the MCAT, this simple four-step protocol is everything you need. You don't want to make things over complex for the MCAT. You want to keep things simple. Step one says, the atoms in their elemental states have an oxidation number of zero. This would be an atom or an element like aluminum solid, because that's its elemental state. That's the form you'd find it in in nature. Another example would be like Cl2 gas, right? Because that's the way it'll naturally exist in nature. We don't have any of these in this equation, so we're not going to worry about it. Step two, atoms in monatomic, otherwise known as single atom ions, have an oxidation number equal to their charge. In this case, we're dealing with chloride ion over here, and overall its charge is minus one, so we're going to give an oxidation number to chloride of minus 1. Step 3, assign oxidation numbers to fluorine, hydrogen, and oxygen. The charge for fluorine would be minus 1. Oxidation number for hydrogen would be plus 1. And the oxidation number for oxygen would be minus 2. Okay. And in this question, notice we have oxygen. So oxygen is going to be minus 2. And we also have oxygen on this side, so minus 2. And then we have some hydrogens in here. So plus 1 for hydrogen there, plus 1 for hydrogen there, and plus 1 for hydrogen there. And now step 4, assign oxidation numbers to every other atom. So we still need to assign nitrogen a number. And you notice we have three hydrogens, so that gives this H3 a overall charge of plus 3. To balance it out, we're going to give nitrogen a charge or an oxidation number of minus 3. Next, OCl, to balance this out, chloride is going to have to have a charge of plus 2 to make it neutral. And then on the right side, nitrogen is paired up with four hydrogens. So overall, this pair of four hydrogens is a, minus, is a plus 4 charge, plus 4 oxidation number, and therefore nitrogen must be a minus 2. And then, all right, it looks like we're done assigning oxidation numbers. Now we need to think about oxidation and reduction. The way I like to remember oxidation and reduction is the acronym OIL RIG, which stands for oxidation is loss of electrons, and RIG, reduction is gain of electrons. So let's take a look at what happens to each of these elements. It looks like nitrogen is losing an electron. It's going from a minus 3 charge to a minus 2 charge. Therefore, it's losing an electron. It's becoming less negative. Therefore, I think that nitrogen is being oxidized. So I'm going to say nitrogen is being oxidized. And chlorine is going from plus 2 to minus 1. It looks like it's gaining 3 electrons. Therefore, I would bet that chlorine is the element that is being reduced. And if we take a second look at our answer choices, it looks like D is the correct answer. Chlorine is reduced and nitrogen is oxidized. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.